I'm not mistaken, that is $14,400. Now, you done managed to save $14,400 for the whole year, right? Okay, now, I'm going to split this into two ways that you can do this. If you love cooking, something you love doing is cooking. If that is what you love, right? If that is what you love, I'm about to show you something. And like I say, I only learned this from reading books, studying other people, learning from other people. And I'm I'm just, I'm nobody. I ain't nothing but a clock puncher that loves to cut grass on the side. I ain't nobody special, right? <laughs> I ain't nobody special. I drive a car with almost 300,000 miles on it. Moving right along. Now, she got $1,200 a month of free money that's not obligated or tied to any bills. She can take that $1,200 a month and blow it. It won't affect her living situation at all because she still have her full-time job that's paying all the bills and taking care of all her responsibilities. Let's just say that lady, she loved to cook. She take that $1,200 a month. She say, I'm going to buy me a food truck. Now, me personally, everybody had their own way of doing stuff. Me personally, I like to buy new. When it comes down to doing business, I like to buy brand new. I'm going to buy a used house. I'm going to buy a used vehicle. But when it comes down to doing business, I just like to buy brand new. I'm not saying used is not going to work. But picture it like this. Let's say you was to buy a brand new food truck. I don't know what the food truck costs. I'm sure that for a fully decked out food truck, not a long one, a small average size one you can drive and make little small plates. Let's just say it's thirty-five to forty thousand dollars. When you finance something that's thirty-five to forty thousand dollars, you typically are gonna pay around six, seven hundred a month. Let's just say you buy a vehicle by thirty-five thousand, you're gonna pay around five, six hundred a month. And to get insurance on that extra two hundred, let's just say nine hundred dollars a month. Nine hundred dollars a month for the note and the insurance. And let's just say extra hundred dollars a month for gas or up. Let's just say upkeep. Whatever. Let's just round it off to a thousand dollars a month. Now, she was already making twelve hundred a month, right? thousand dollars done bought her a food truck well it's paying on it ain't by a cat it's paying on her food truck she still got a full-time job nothing's changed her bills are taken care of she's still selling these little plates at work and on the weekends right now she's making more than a hundred dollars on a saturday let's we just rounding it off to make it for simple math okay now she, done, she got the food truck sitting in the driveway, fully decked out with everything she needs. She got an extra $200 a month, right? She's now, she's now she has created a bill that has to be paid every month, but she's selling food, right? Now, <laughs> here's the beautiful part. If this is something she loves to do, she can eventually start working that business, building it up to where she can lead, she can leave her full-time job and transition into running her own food truck food company. Now, uh, the, now I'm, I'm, I'm saying this in steps like it's so easy, but sometimes you got to put in a lot of sacrifices to get to this point. But if this is something you love to do, now you control how much money you make because you can, you can cook a lot of food and sell a lot. You control how much money you make. It's a guy in my subdivision right now down the street. He got his own food. He got a trailer. got his own food truck. He do it on the weekends. He make a killing. It's another guy I know. He sell wings in town. Wings jumping. He post up. He make a killing. Now, now like I say, hear me out now. I hope you're taking notes because I'm giving you free game. Okay, she got that food truck. She's going to be more dedicated and motivated She could because she's going to look and say, Man, I've created something. And she has. She's created. She created another income. She don't have to beg her job for overtime. She don't have to run out and get a second job because she's created a way. And it all started by a chili dog, a two dollar chili dog and a two dollar Gatorade. Now, all right. That thousand dollar payment, she got to make that thousand dollar payment. A lot of people don't want to make the payment. If they make a twelve hundred, I'm going to buy a Corvette. I ain't got to screw all that. You got this thousand dollar payment, food truck insurance. Now you more professional. You can raise your prices a little bit. You know what I'm saying? 
because nothing's changed. You got the twelve hundred a month to pay the note. You can keep selling food for what you're selling. You can still go to your full time job, sell that two dollar Gatorade, that two dollar chili dog. And on Saturdays, you can bump your price up on your plates an extra three or five dollars because you can put more on that plate. And people don't mind paying it. Like I'm gonna be honest, when I see people. A small business, I try to support it. I see kids in the neighborhood buying lemonade, uh, selling lemonade. Man, I'm about to buy all your lemonade, man. I'm about to support you. I, like when I seen them kids selling those little $2 candy bars, man, I bought all of them. I'm about to support you. That's I love doing that because I want people to support me.